Link and Danny do a podcast in the car. Welcome back to a special episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your host, Dan. And Link. Today's special episode is Megacon. Megacon. 2022. I rose back from the dead. That's right. Just for Megacon. Just for Megacon. That's what Megacon does. It brings people back from the dead. Yes. You know, that's how Han Solo came back. He went to Megacon. I'm a Force Ghost now. Oh, okay. I prefer that. I, I'm a Force Ghost. How do you... Uh, I don't do pee anymore. I was going to ask poo. No, I don't but you do were that. Close. Yeah, yeah, I don't pee anymore. I don't... Hmm. It's cold. It's... Oh, okay. I imagine it's cold. That's why you're always wearing. That's why. I mean, that's why Obi Wan. That's why Obi Wan and Luke, and I mean, sorry, Obi Wan and they all wear like jackets, like clothes. Yeah, I mean, they, it must they be cold. have to because it's freezing. Yeah. Wow. I never thought of that. Maybe I don't want to be a force ghost. No, I don't you like, don't. I don't no, like don't. cold. Just die. Accept it. If it could be seven de- degrees forever, I would be okay. That's room temperature, right? I like the that, perfect yeah. temperature. The perfect is, temperature is 70? 70, 68. Not 69. That joke's, uh, that that joke's played. That That's, joke's yeah. played. Well, it's not even funny anymore. But 70. But 70, 68, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you want to hear a joke? Hit me. Why is 68 scared of 70? Why? Because 68, 69, 70. <laughs> <laughs> that joke sucked. <laughs> Dang, I thought that was a good one. Let me know if you like that joke. I'll come up with more as we go on. Okay. So, so Megacon. 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 Day one. Day one. Okay, so Danny and I drove up t- from Miami to Megacon with our arch nemesis, Panda Man. Panda Man. Pandemonium. Actually, yeah, Pandemonium. He was actually our Uber driver. Um, he's driving us right he's now. He's driving us now, yeah. This is going to be even a very expensive fare. Yeah. We're he doesn't not. know we're paying yeah, he, him with he, beef jerky. Yeah. Hope he's not vegetarian. I'm ready to run. What? I'm ready to run as soon as he parks. Oh, boy. He's dropping you off for I, send me. Oh, you're right. Oh, man. My house comes first. Good luck. You know what? You should, you should take me home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, day one. Day one. All right. So, our arch nemesis, Panda Man, went dressed as Panda Man, obviously. Yes. And you, But you and I. We did something special. We did something special. We dressed up. Low effort. Low effort, because that's how we are. We're low effort type of guys. That's And that's tasteful. It is. We're low key. We went dressed up as high Q characters. High Q bench. High Let's Q. call it high Q bench players. Yes, bench characters. Exactly, yes. We're in warm up gear, but yes, warm that's up about gear. it. We're, we're just going to warm up. We're not playing. Yeah, black. Uh, what type of pants did we buy? Jaw soccer pants. Black soccer Wrong pants. Wrong sport. Uh, yeah. Just black sweatpants and black uh, sweatpants the and black high Q jacket, right? From with Karasu no high. Yeah, with the foot with on the it. Foot. With the yes. foot. Very low key, you know, white t shirts under. Tasteful. Tasteful. If you will. Exactly. I thought we did amazing. I thought we did great. I thought there was gonna be a queue of single ladies wanting to take pictures with us. There should have been. There should have been. But that didn't happen. But there wasn't. There wasn't. Tragedy struck. Exactly. And not even the high Q characters not knew e- who not, we not, were. Not even no the, one wanted to take a picture with us. Not even the people in high Q uniforms yes. recognized that we were they didn't. bench players. And I would make eye contact with them. I'd do googly eyes. You bowed to I, one of them. Yeah, and nothing. You did a full, like, hello. Yeah, and, and nothing. They just gave you a look. They were like, "Who the heck is this crazy?" Exactly. Loser. Maybe we should have tried a little bit more. No. No. Tasteful. It was tasteful. It was tasteful. Low effort. We were comfortable. We were com. That that is true. We were very comfortable. We were comfortable, and uh, that jacket was nice. The jacket was nice. I'm actually glad we bought it. Me too. I'm gonna use it. Yes, I'm gonna go on dates. With it. It's okay. They'll have no idea. They'll actually, the no foot. Idea. Yeah, they'll think that we have a foot fetish. Yeah. It'll, yeah. They might. <laughs> It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be gorgeous. Yes. But yeah, so we went dressed as high Q characters. Yes. Um, for the no first specific day. character. No we, specific we were character. Bench yeah, warmers. Bench warmers. That's what, I mean, that's how I was when I played sports. I was, I was in the bench. Same. Gabe was, uh, actually, Gabe and I played volleyball in, in college for intramurals. And I was on his team. And I made sure that I never played because I, I didn't want to disappoint the team. 
Well, you can't disappoint when you don't try. Exactly. Exactly. And if you win, you still get a trophy. You still get a trophy. If you lose, you lose. But you know they didn't lose because of you, and that's all that matters to me. Exactly. We're like Haslam. Who? The, Haslam. Udonis yes. Haslam. Udonis Haslam from the Miami Heat. That's a good one. We're not going to fight people, though. I don't know. I'll fight someone. I'm not a fighting type. I'll lose, but I'll fight. Yeah, I'd lose. That's why I won't even try. But yes, so, first day. Thoughts? It was fun. It was fun. There was a lot more people than I thought. A lot more people, yes. I think I learned... I think you and I are both introverts. Oh, yeah. We may be on the spectrum. I'm not ready to... Uh, I may be on the spectrum. I'm not ready to admit that yet. But, yeah. I We were... It was tired. a lot. It was a lot. Yeah, we got tired, like, what, the first two hours? <laughs> yeah, easily. Easy. There was too many people, which I guess is a good thing. It's a cool right? thing, you, yeah. You don't want it to be empty. Lots of cool cosplays. But there were so many. But there were so many people. I, yeah, I couldn't. Uh. But we had fun. That's but all that matters, right? We did have a good time. Feet hurt. Feet hurt. Yeah, my knees were hurting. Hungry. Hungry. What did we eat that day? Kai. Uh, yes, we went to Kai Asian... Street Fair. Street Fair. If you're in the Orlando area, Kai Asian Street Shout Fair. Shout out Kai Asian Yo, Street Fair. Amazing Korean chicken wings. Fantastic garlic noodles. They, oh, I'm so happy you went. I love Korean chicken wings. They were the best. They're the best Korean chicken wings I've ever had. Granted, they're the only ones I've ever tried. But I feel like I. No, no, they're they're high up there. They're high up there. Have the, you had other Korean chicken wings? I have, and and these are high up there. They're just perfect. They're extra crunchy. That that's what I love about them. I don't think I've ever had a Korean a chicken wing that crunchy in my life. The batter they use is incredible. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's so good. I don't think it's American. No, definitely not. And then the 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 soy garlic sauce on top. Yeah, and it's sweet. It's a nice it's not little salty. sweet garlic sauce. Yeah. Oh man. So it's a. Uh, Incredible. It's incredible. We had a good incredible. time the first day. We enjoyed it. A lot of cosplayers. Uh, it was a lot to to, <laughs> to take in. Yeah, it was a lot to take yeah, in. A like, lot of shops. A lot of shops, which is awesome, right? Because variety is perfect. But also choice paralysis. Yeah, I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to buy. Yes. I mean, I knew that I wanted to buy stickers. That's my whole goal. Like, I wanted to buy stickers. Stickers are my love language. I love buying love stickers, giving stickers. Like, if I give you a sticker, it means I love you or appreciate you. You're special if you have a sticker from Link. Exactly. You know who doesn't have a sticker from me? Who? Panda Man. Good. I hate that guy. Let's keep it that way. hate that panda. I hate that panda. So much. However, I felt bad for him, you get me? Because he was on a mission to find his uh, a beautiful lady. He was specifically looking for a She-Hulk to carry him into bed. A big She-Hulk. Big, and, strong lady. And he did not find one. He did not find his She-Hulk. He struck out. But it's okay. Because day two, he went dressed as Panda Man again. A man on a mission. This guy, literally, on a mission. And he almost ruined the convention for us. What happened day two? More pictures. More pictures, yeah. More cosplays. More cosplays. No, we More have, people. We took pictures of people, yes. We're, we, our social media queen, Leanne, will be posting those up on our social medias, S4M Podcast. At S4M Podcast yes. on Twitter, on Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, and Instagram. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. We'll post them there. Uh, was, there uh, was there a cosplay that you really enjoyed, like that you wanted to take a picture with, the one that, or the one that caught your attention the most? Oh yes, absolutely. The frog lady from Mando episode season two episode yes, two. Yes, that one was great. So on day two, we we stayed around for the red carpet cosplay, and it's it's fair game. You can just get in line and get on the carpet. Yeah, we were just tired, and we sat down, not knowing what was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, we accidentally got the best seats in the house. Yeah, but that's fine. We were actually waiting because our nemesis, Panda Man, did a geek speed dating. Geek speed dating. And he went in dressed as Panda Man, and we couldn't go inside with him. We couldn't watch either. We couldn't watch either. I wanted to see that. So while he was dating multiple women, we we sat down and by some stairs. And we watched some cosplays. And I will tell you what. 
the frog lady. The frog lady, so good. The frog, I, that cosplay genuinely made me happy. It was the best one. She even had that little backpack with little yeah, eggs, with the fertilized eggs. eggs or unfertilized eggs. I don't even know me who neither. was under there, but. When I tell you it looked exactly like the show, show one, it was yeah, it was accurate. Yeah, I think that was the best one I've. That was the most accurate. That one that seen. had to have been yeah. the most accurate. But what was your favorite? My favorite one. Um, that's some a few that stood out. I think the funniest one we saw was someone went dressed as the Wall from Attack on Titan, and they yes. had the little <laughs> characters yes. on top. And then we ran after them. <laughs> we ran too. after them because we wanted to take a picture. Because we them. had to take a picture. Those you will see on our social media. Uh, I took one with Weird Al. I like that one. I thought that it was funny. Was nice. Yeah, it was a little chubby Weird Al, but you know, it was cute. I thought it was adorable. No, he was, was even not. playing the yeah. He had an accordion. Accordion, yeah. Which Got one? some cool that Warhammer. Was... Cosplays. Oh yes, those were legit because they were actually like they were on like twelve feet tall. Yeah, right? they were on like platforms. They were I on guess, platforms? yeah. They were so cool. And there was just absolute. There was passion and love put into those cosplays. There was. They were passionately making love in the cosplay. Not low effort like that. Not us. low effort like High us. effort. High effort. Have you ever played Warhammer? I have not. I've played it once. What'd you think? It was fun. I just thought the little pieces were too expensive to play. The, That's the true. buy, the buy, so I'm like, I'm not going to get in. You have to have your own piece. You have right? to have your own piece. Yes, and I started off in high I played it in high school when I didn't have a job or mo- any money, so I couldn't afford the hobby. But I enjoyed it. I think those games are cool. Yeah. So like that, the forty, the, the Warhammer cosplay was pretty cool. I think my favorite one was probably um, the Laszlo and Nadja from, from how... Uh, <laughs> from what we do in the shadows that's one yeah, of my favorite fantastic. shows and I saw them and I I couldn't believe it was them I had to ask them are you guys cosplaying as these two uh, uh, vampires because it's so because you can't like yeah you yeah. don't know because <laughs> they're just dressed in like Victorian era style clothing and it could be anyone and it could be anyone yeah but, but they, Link recognized I recognized it, so them. they did a good job they said yes and we took pictures of them, and that was, I took a picture with them, and that was awesome. You'll also see that on our social media. Was there some a character that you wanted to see a cosplay of? That I wanted to see a cosplay of? Did you? Hmm. I wanted to see a Boji one. I mean, I saw one. I thought I was going to see more Boji from... From Ranking of Kings, I only saw one, which kind of got me sad. Um, but yeah, that's a one for me. You know what? I'll tell you this: there was not. I did not see a single Sasuke. Yeah. Which was strange. Which is where is that from? Naruto. Oh, okay. There was a severe lack of Naruto. There really was. Everywhere. You know what? There was so much of. Demon, Demon Slayer. Slayer. Oh my goodness. Everyone and everyone, their mother. Like, ex- everyone and their mother was in Nasuke. Like it just took off their shirt. I've n- it was it was multiverse of madness. But, for Nasuke, yeah. For Nasuke. And you know what? None of them were fat. None of them. Were which fat. was cool because you know Nasuke is a ripped guy. But I would have w- wanted to see a fat in Nasuke. Me too. I think that's commitment that I could appreciate. Yeah, that person's not scared of showing their body. They are comfortable with who they are. A lot of my hero. A lot of my uh, hero, cosplays. yeah. Yes, yes. Anime in general. Yes. The last time I went to MegaCon, I was in eighth grade. I believe that was in 2007. And it was mostly superhero. I mean, there wasn't much cosplay in general. But I was shocked to see, like, the, you know, the 10. Uh, what's tw- what's tw- 2022 minus 2007? Like 14, 15 year gap? I was shocked to see how much anime cosplay there was. I think majority of it was anime. It was, and if you ask someone why they were here, it was anime. It was mostly anime. Yes. So I was. That just like it shows you how much anime has taken over in North America. Yep. Check out uh, Attack on Anime Attack episode on anime. one and, and three. And episodes one and three exactly. Yes. Uh, but yeah, anime is in the mainstream, and I think I was kind of in denial until right now, where I'm like, oh yeah, this is. MegaCon is almost anime con. Yeah. A lot of people are there just solely for voice actors. Yeah. And anime merch. 
so we had a good time uh we were there we we waited we were uh, so we 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 went in with the mentality of all right let's go have fun so we pre-gamed we drank each two celsius that was a mistake that was a mistake because that's all we had in our body so for the first like what an hour and a half we were good Ooh, yeah you know we were lit and then that was off energy and <laughs> we off energy drink crashed. and we crashed badly hard yeah it was bad it was bad like my brain wasn't working properly mine either but we couldn't leave because like i said our arch nemesis panda man was doing speed dating so he held us hostage also he was he's a driver of the car so it's not like we could yeah it's his car yeah so we literally couldn't leave until he was done with speed dating and guess what what he didn't get any girl's number he didn't get a single one. You Guess know why? Because <laughs> <laughs> he forgot to take notes. You were supposed. Oh no, no, not only that. Oh, yeah, not only he didn't that. take any notes. And second, he left his phone in the car. <laughs> he left his phone. And guess what? He doesn't know his. He phone doesn't number. know his phone number. So when it was time to write your phone number on your page, or on other people's page, other girls' pages. He couldn't do that. He got to the last four, and I'm assuming that's it. That's it. Yeah. And then he defaulted to his email. <laughs> very, pro- very professional. Very professional. Very archaic. Yes. Um, you know, very Tom Hanks and Megan. <laughs> <laughs> you've got mail. You got mail. Yeah. Very. You've got mail. I hope he finds love. I hope that one of them actually emails him. Emails him. Yes. And from there, they become pen pals. You know what? If they only commit, like, communicated okay. through email, and that's then true love. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Also, he was wearing his Panda Man mask, so you couldn't really see his you face. You had no idea what he looked like. Yeah. So, but he tried it out, and we give him props. Yeah, we were proud of him for putting himself we were, out there. We were, although we hate him, we were proud of him. But afterwards, we were just destroyed. We were, like, yeah, we were mentally, mentally exhausted. Exhausted, yeah. Like, I, could, I knew I could talk, but I couldn't think. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. You know, before you... Before we move on, I do want to talk about something you said while we were walking around. You were like, I feel bad for the comic book vendors because this all started as a comic book thing. Yes. And those vendors were bone dry. Yes. Not a single person was buying a comic book. No. Which to me is mind blowing because even four or five years back, I remember people were getting in line to buy comic books. Yeah. I think the digital age has changed comic books. Um, it's one of the reasons why I didn't. Well, there weren't. Plus, there weren't. There weren't any comic. Many comic book people that I was interested in meeting. Like uh, Frank Miller was there, which I wanted to see, but he was never. No, in no, his, no, he was no. never in his. Uh, Frank Miller was ne- never there. there. Yeah, he, he left a sign that said "See you later." Yeah, see you later. Yeah, and we didn't. I never got to see him. We did not see him once. There was Greg Capullo. He's he's a comic book artist. He draws for Batman with his with a Scott Snyder. Um, so I got to like give him a thumbs up and tell him I appreciated his his art and he he said thank you, which I thought was pretty cool. But I wasn't going to appreciate it enough to like buy a graphic or, like, you know, a comic book from him and have him sign it. Yeah, buy a print. Yeah, buy a print and have him sign it. Although and I wanted to, but I'm like, eh. Ah. And I appreciate these artists. I love that they come forward. I love that they yeah. put themselves out there, but things are also getting expensive. Yeah. Buying something to get autographed you have to pay for the object and the autograph yeah and it's gonna be about two hundred dollars and i think people put more emphasis on taking on the pictures than actual signing things yes people are all about the pictures Pictures, now exactly yes um but i i think he was the most popular comic book person there besides frank miller who was just never there um he he was he really did not yeah I, i don't even know if he showed up uh, but yeah, not many, not many people were there supporting comic book artists or writers. Also, there wasn't, there were some that I knew, but not many that I was you that cared, I'm interested. That, yeah, well, not cared for. I guess that's the wrong word. Yeah, but exa- was interest were interested in meeting. Yeah, exactly. Um, there was a lot of cool artwork. That's what I appreciated. I <laughs> was able to buy cool some art. prints. Uh, I bought these three wrestling prints. One from uh, from this guy. He had. I got a Moxley. A, Orange Cassidy and a Young Bucks print, three for thirty bucks. I thought that was a good deal. That was a great deal. It was. I think a lot of prices were were actually not that bad. But no, yes, art like stickers. I probably spent like more than one hundred and fifty dollars on stickers. Man, they get you with this. Like, hey, you can have 
one for 20 bucks or you can have three for 20 bucks <laughs> for like 30 <laughs> bucks yeah so you're like okay they get you on these sales these sales, sales are yeah. ridiculous they want you to buy more than one yes and it would be stupid not to <laughs> exactly so i spent a lot of money on stickers <laughs> and i can't wait to give some away i bought one for my brother my brother loves vegeta so i got him a ve- holographic vegeta i was 15 dollars Kind of regret it, but... That was expensive. But it's okay. You know what? Father's Day is coming up, so I thought. A $15 gift? It's more than I've ever given them for do Father's you, Day. Do you have a favorite sticker that you bought? There was... Yes. I think my favorite one was... Uh, there's a Sailor Moon one, <laughs> but instead of... Sa- it was it was Baby Yoda <laughs> dressed as... Or Yoda dressed as Sailor Moon, and it was holographic. <laughs> I just thought this was... So silly, like a beautiful matchup, so and I loved it. Love it. Can't. I don't know where I'm going to put it. The amount of love and detail poured into that yes. collab <laughs> was was incredible. There was also this um, see you space cowboy, but with Andy Sangberg from that, that uh, good. from that, that SNL good. skit with the guns and the what you say. And I thought that one was hilarious. So that one was good. Um, so yeah, I got some. We met like we. There was a store that I really loved. He was he mashed up things that I liked. Uh, good memes. Um, so I, I literally spent like twenty bucks on that from that store. Shout out to Bucket, bucket hats, hats Forever. Yeah, bucket Hats Forever. Check them out. They have great stickers, great bucket hats. Um, what else do they have? Pins. That's a, yeah. That's I mean, they were Bucket Hats Forever. Yes, I got some st- awesome stickers for for my friends. I got some for Leanne. I can't wait to send them to her or give them to her. I don't know. I never, never know when she's here or she's not. A flip of a coin. Flip of a coin. Got to ask her. But I'm excited for that. And then, yeah, what, Saturday, we should be tired, right? T- yeah, tired. Exhausted. But then where'd we go to eat? Bar Taco. That was actually a legit question. I, I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, there was a pause there, and it was a real pause. It yeah. was a dramatic pause. I had no idea. No what idea. Ate. But we went to go eat at Bar, Bar Taco. Taco. Now, if you've never been to Bar Taco, it's amazing. It's incredible. Yes, it's like, man... It's What's, like a bar for tacos. Yes, but they gentrified tacos. Not <laughs> not like... Not, no, okay. G- gentrification. They, they technology gentrified tacos that, because the whole menu no, is no, on... That's uh, the wrong word. I don't know what to describe. The tacos are experimental. They're not... Gen- oh, maybe. No, no. The way you is order... experimental just another way The way, way you, order, to you order, you order on your phone and you pay on your phone. And what they do is they have servers come. It's a magical experience. It's and it's one of the fastest... So fast. Sit-down restaurants I ever because there's no you're cutting the middleman you really are you are your which, waiter you are, yeah which is weird because i tip them yeah, so do i and i feel awkward like oh you brought me my food but that's it so i, I feel i mean that guy that one guy brought us a uh a, a, a candle so it was romantic you, <laughs> you know that was you strange. me and panda man that was that was kind of strange that he brought pookie the pen the yeah candle. i'm sorry the, Panda Man, Panda the Man candle. candle, yeah. And then he said, don't put your finger in it. You know, sometimes you have to say these things so you don't get sued. And I guess he but saw he Panda Man's costume and thought, this idiot will put his fingers in. He thought it was funny. So, so yeah. But then you ordered some tacos and some elotes. Tacos, yes. Tell me about the elotes. So, yes, I got this elote. It was so good. I had to order. I ordered it again. I ordered it twice. You ordered two. Um, there was. I think it was my favorite part of the meal, the elote. If you ever can get the, the the, the grazed corn. Um, the tacos were great. Which one was your favorite taco? Hmm. Which one hit yesterday? I guess you have a timeline now. This is happening. One day after bar taco. The pork belly. The pork belly? The pork belly. You can't go wrong with the pork mm-hmm. belly. It is incredibly solid taco. Okay. I think my favorite one's the duck one. The duck was fantastic. It's fantastic, yeah. Uh, and then they have that little habanero sauce. That the green. Haban- it went right through me. It went, dude, I felt it the next morning me when I too. pooped. It this was like morning. stingling. It was, it was like tingling. Yeah, this morning was not great. It was not great. It went twice. And I went felt, twice too. Okay, so I so I, I woke up like at six, did it. I naturally woke up at six, which <laughs> you is know, weird. I heard you. I heard you. Okay, so you, you woke heard, me up. I went there at six, right? Felt the tingling. At eight, I showered. After I showered, you were showering. <laughs> I had already changed, and then I had to go again. And it's like, man, 
I literally already showered. Do I have to shower again? Because I can't, like, do number two and not shower. But I, I mean, Especially I, after just showering. Exactly. Just... So I felt like I wasted my... I'm like, you know what? Might as well start the whole day again. Let's just call it a day, go to sleep. Yeah. I was ready to go back to sleep. That was, yeah. But we woke up early. We did. We did a good job. We after good being job. late two days in a row. We woke up early, yes. Um, the day before we watched... Uh, actually, this whole weekend we were watching a great show. Fantastic show. Fantastic show. Uh, How To with John Wilson. The Love, love of My Life. Ugh. I think that's my fav- one of my favorite shows ever. It, it honestly has made its way into my top ten yes. in one weekend. It's yes. very short. Six, six episodes per six season. Six episodes per season. season, yeah. More of it in uh, our next episode, our monthly one. We'll talk about it there. Or maybe an episode that you've already listened to because yeah. we don't know when this is going up. <laughs> exactly. Um, we watched that. We watched some Dairy Girls on some Netflix. Dairy Girls. What do you think of Dairy Girls? The only joke that came to head was a curse word, so I can't. Say <laughs> it. Was it the Samuel Jack, the Samuel Jackson yes, from? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Pulp Fiction I re- one. Yes. Yes, I, I I watched Dairy Girls when it came out on Netflix, and I loved it. And I was recommending it to friends. I recommended it to George and my sister Gisela, his wife, and they would not listen to me, right? And I felt offended because they know I have a high, I have good taste when it comes to comedy, and I kept comedy. on recommending this and to them over and over and over, and nothing. Eventually, they watched it, and they loved it, and it was validation. I mean, it's great. It's, it's a great show. Great. It's funny. It's clever. I just... Yeah, I've never experienced Irish comedy in my life. It's Irish, right? Yes, it okay, is yeah. Irish. Can't tell. Irish, Scottish. But it was awesome. It's awesome. I love it. So yeah, I, the fact that I was able to introduce it to you, show it to you, someone who I love. And we had a great job. Yeah. We had a great time. Great you did time. a great job. Oh, thank you. With your recommendations. As yes, we thank you. And then we, you know, how to. How to. I, I had seen some episodes, but we watched it together. So it was beautiful, man. And we finished the entire thing. We, we ate it up. We ate that up, bro. So did Panda Man. Panda Man so loved did it. So Panda Man. And the next day, Sunday, we woke up early. We did day our. Day three. Day three. Wow. We were exhausted at this point. Yeah, I, you know what? Two days, I already felt like I had my money's worth. This third day was just Superf- kind of, superfluous. Yeah, it was the top off. It was that. Superfluous. That's it. Yeah. I don't know what that means. It's like extra. Am I even pronouncing the word right? Sur- I'm not gonna try. Superfluous. Yes, superfluous. That. Yeah. It was that. Yeah. It was. It was a top off. It was the finale. It the was grand finale. finale. But I think it was probably the most important day. It was a very important day. It was a very important day. So we did this, right? We woke up early. Um, we mostly woke up early because, once again, Panda Man, ruining our, our, our experience, forced us into doing this geek speed dating that he did. Right? The problem was that we had to wake up early so we can go and sign up. Because at these conventions, you know, it's all guys. It's a bit of a... Can't say that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a bit of a fest. Yeah, it's a bit of a fest. Yeah, a cuckoo fest. And Link and I knew the ratio was going to be off, and we were like, Panda Man. We don't want to do listen, this. Listen, we're not feeling it. We're not. You know, we really, we, we tried to get out of it. We, did, we I did everything in my we power. We tried every detour. We tried every bathroom excuse. He tied us up. He dragged us. Yeah. He, we, you know, it felt illegal what he it was doing. It felt like, Non-consensual? It was definitely non-consensual. It didn't feel non It didn't feel it like it. But it's okay. We signed up. It was all cool, right? And then we walked around <laughs> for like two hours. We walked around. I bought like home- more stickers. And he did buy more stickers. A lot more stickers, yeah. A lot yeah. more stickers. I went, all three days I went to Bucket Hats Forever because I love those guys. Great, cool guys. Um, but this day, we did something. This was a special day. This was a special day. I am so excited. This was the day we got to meet. A very special celebrity. Yes, someone that makes me happy. I see this guy in the movie, <laughs> in, in the screen, and it's like it produces joy. It someone, sparkles joy. Someone who peaked in Back to the Future. Someone who peaked in Happy Feet. His voice peaked in Happy Feet. <laughs> we got. We decided to take a picture, a photo op with Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. How was that experience for you? Is it Woods with an S? Elijah Wood. I think it's Elijah Woods. Elijah Woods? Yeah, plural. So it's Wood. I've been Elijah saying Wood. it wrong for. Oh, good thing my I did. Uh, it was okay. Elijah Wood, Woods. 
I don't know. When Maybe. I walked in there, I said, hello, Elijah Wood. I don't even think he heard us. He definitely did he not hear us. He didn't hear us. Okay. So, because we're still in this panoramic, um, some celebrities didn't feel safe. So, they had plexiglass. Right? Some didn't. Our friend Alec, he took pictures with the with the senseis from Cobra Kai, Johnny Lawrence, and not Danny DeVito, <laughs> Danny LaRusso. Yep. And um, they didn't have plexi. He didn't have plexiglass, and he was uh he was good. Like he took a cool picture with them. It wasn't like he got to interact a little bit with them. For us, it was in and out because there was some plexiglass there. They don't tell you. They really don't tell you this. I wish they did because I probably wouldn't have taken a picture with Elijah Woods. I probably would have chosen someone else. I would have picked someone without plexiglass. Yes, I wanted to touch a celebrity. That's all I wanted. Well, when you put it that way, then maybe there's a good way. There's a good reason for the plexiglass. Yeah, okay. True. I don't think Elijah Wood wants a hug. Oh, but that's all I wanted to do. But there was something else you wanted to do. Yes, so bef- like I said, I love stickers. Stickers are my love language. So I had recently watched Over the Garden Wall. It's a little short uh, animated show on <laughs> that came out on Cartoon Network, but right now it's currently on HBO Max. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. It's adorable. Right? Elijah Wood, uh, Wood Woods um, voices the main actor. And I got a little sticker from him. And I told myself, you know what? I'm going to go give this to Elijah Woods. But when we got there, there was pex- plexiglass. And he wasn't talking to anyone. Just no, smiling. he yeah, just standing there. He was like, he was more like a statue. Yes. He kind of stayed in the same position. It was a uh, it was kind of sad. It was a little bit sad. So you and I go in with Panda Man, you know. I do my little bow thing, which he I, seems excited he about. Yeah, I think I think he reciprocated. He bowed a little bit, he which bowed I was about as to well. say. Like no, no, you know, like in Lord of the Rings, you bow down to no one. I bow down to you, uh, Frodo. Um, but I did it, and he smiled. Right, we took our little picture. We'll also post that on our uh, our, our social media. We got to have to. S4M podcast on Instagram, yeah. Twitter, and Facebook. Exactly. <laughs> so we did that. And it was a like, quick in and out. But before I left, I uh, I decided to give him that sticker. So I, He took a chance. So I took a chance. You get me? I was about to get tackled by security, but I said, no. My love language is stickers. And I want to show Elijah Wood slash Woods how much I love him. So I decided like to motion, like, hey, this sticker's for you. And I went over, my hand went over the plexiglass <laughs> and gave it to him. And he seemed happy. He seemed ecstatic. Yes. He really liked that sticker. He really did. He was happier when he, like, in Lord of the Rings, when, when Frodo, after he does everything and he, he sees his, his hobbit friends, he's, there's a smile on his face because he's there with his friends. It was that smile. It was, no, it was even better. He was, he was happier. He was filled with joy. He was filled with joy. So and I gave that to him, and that we made, were excited. We about were excited. That made our day. Yeah. yeah, made our day. That's it. We peaked. We peaked. We really did peak, and we did that, and we still had some time left over before the geek speed dating. So we decided to go to one of the panels there. Very special panel. Yes, we went to AEW's former uh, women's champion Adam Cole, his, his girlfriend, uh, Adam Cole's <laughs> girlfriend. DMD and Britt Breaker for context. Baker. Adam Cole was supposed to be on that panel too, but he, he was canceled. supposed to be, but he didn't. He canceled. Yes, so we did a little there. It was pretty cool. Got to see uh, Britt Baker. She yeah. looks fantastic. She is beautiful. She is gorgeous. Yes, I can see why Adam Cole is with her. Congrats, Adam Congrats, Cole. Congrats, baby. Yeah, but we were there. We had a little panel. She had some, there was some Q and A. People asked some questions. Uh, I think the question that struck me the most was they asked her, "What's your favorite go to pub sub?" And she had no idea what that was. She has, well, she has never Never. had a pub sub. Yeah. Which was like a deal breaker for me. I was like, all right, you know what? I'm not going to marry you. Nope. You're not the one. Uh, You're not the one for me. You just got to find someone else. Yeah. Granted, you were already, you know, you're already dating someone else. But this solidified that decision for me. We're, We're done. You're done. But that was pretty cool that was because awesome. right after that we had to go do the speed dating, we were the non-consensual speed dating. And once again, we tried getting out of it. We tried. We decided. We tried using lunch as an excuse. Our hunger. Panda man, please, we have to go to dinner. 
And he's like, no, we're not going to eat dinner. I'm so hungry. We haven't eaten dinner yet. We have not. But we still, he still forced us to do it. And when we got there, <clears throat> it was all right, right? What was all right? The whole experience. The whole thing. Yeah, was that was right. cool. That was cool. Right. We put ourselves out there. Uh, place, uh, right? May I list? May I start reading the list of numbers I got? Oh, yes. Okay, so here's how it is, right? So you you do two minutes speed dating with each person, right? You they get give two you a, minutes to talk. They give you a, a, a number tag, right? And if you like that person, you go afterwards. You, you, you get a page, right? You write your number. And then people, girls, or would girls would go and they would write their names, their number, their names, and their phone numbers. The right? whole process was a little messy. A little messy, but whatever. It works. Um, and we did it. Panda Man, me, and, and, and Dan. And the winner was Dan. He got the most girls. My boy. I appreciate it. Dibs on officiating your wedding if you ever something ever you know, materializes from this. Pink pants, I'll see you later. Pink pants. Oh, my goodness. So, to me, there were like a few girls that caught my attention. None of them picked me, but it's okay. Because I won a contest searching for love. I was the most eligible bachelor. They were intimidated by I should have probably said that. <laughs> I would have been like, you know, my little resume there. I'm an award-winning bachelor. But you know what? You won it. Thank you. So we're proud I, of you. I, I appreciate the hey, love. I'm proud of you, man. I don't win very often. We, we don't win very often. We don't. But if a, you win, then I win. And if you win, I no, win. Exactly. Too. But if Panda Man wins. We both lose. We both lose. We both lost. And, and he lost, yeah. so we both won. We both won. There you go. So it was a win-win for us yeah i mean we won it was epic you got a lot of numbers some of the girls that i liked you got it's okay <laughs> <laughs> i know you share them with me i absolutely will especially <laughs> the ones that laughed when i told them i was 20 years old but then still put their numbers on my paper right but we're proud of you i appreciate yes it, it was cool, it was a cool i mean it was, it was, i enjoyed the experience I don't think the results afterwards were it was worth it. <laughs> one hundred one, find me. One hundred one, if you're out there. Number, what, was her, what was her cosplay? She was Pain from Nar from Naruto. Mm. One hundred one, please come find me. Please come find us. You didn't write your number on my page. Oh, where's but my, where's my list? Where's my list? Which is the girl <laughs> I like? Daphne. She was dressed as Daphne <laughs> from Scooby Doo. Number fifty two. <laughs> number fifty two. Yes, number fifty two. If you are listening to this, somehow. Somehow. I know I look short, but you were wearing high heels. So, like, you were, like, a, two inches taller than me. It's not that bad. Can we talk about the purple eyes? From from Daphne? From Daphne? Does, all right, let's find out right now. Does Daphne, Daphne have, have purple? Yeah, she was wearing purple so eyes. She was threw me off. playing as Daphne. And she had purple eyes. Does Daphne have purple eyes? And live right now, we're about to find out what color Daphne's eyes are. Daphne's eyes are black. Okay. Cool. At least she matched her dress. Yeah. You know. I guess it was cool. It was cool, yeah. But I think the one that we all wanted was black shirt, pink pants, right? <laughs> Number really? 47? That was, that was the one we all wanted? I'm not sure. Which one did we all want? Besides 101. And the man wanted 101. 101, yeah. I like that one. I like the... I don't remember their numbers. 47. 47, yes. 47. She, she was talking like the day before she did a bar crawl, and I'm like, oh, that sounds very cool. I'm usually the designated driver. I think that's what threw me off. I think I'm that's glad she didn't say that to me because I can't drink. Exactly. That's why I'm usually, Danny and I are usually the designated driver. Which one was that? Uh, Black shirt, pink pants. That's 47. That was 47. <laughs> I liked her. 47. 47. What was the best conversation you had? I don't think they were all fun. Like, I don't think, I don't. Th nothing was memorable for me. Um, yeah. Actually, no. I think okay. So one hundred one, the one next to her was seventy nine, right? Her friend. Seventy nine. Yeah, seventy nine, which was very tall. I think I had the most enjoyable conversation with her because she was Puerto Rican and and I was Colombian, and we just started talking about like our cultures, about food and stuff like that. So I think that was the most enjoyable one. But she was very tall. Yeah, like a basketball player tall. She was really tall. Yeah. Taller than you and me. Combined. Combined, yeah. <laughs> and Panda Man. And but Panda he, Man. But he's not that tall. <laughs> wow. But her friend, 101. 101. 
Did it, did it? Was it me or did they seem like they wanted to hang out afterwards? They absolutely did, and maybe we're delusional. But maybe we're delusional. Did. But listen, all I'm three telling, of us okay. got that same vibe, right? When, when listen, listen, she started it out with, "Hey, I can't see because of my contacts." Yes, yeah, she was wearing these weird. One hundred and one was wearing these weird contacts, which apparently hindered her vision. So she said, "What number are you?" And I said, "Hey, I'm ninety-one." And I should have hammered that in. Dang, I didn't. She didn't. She didn't even write down my number. It was sixty-two. Because, <laughs> well, she didn't write down any. Anyone? She didn't even get up during the set. She, yeah, she didn't get up. I think she was taken. You was there for her friend seventy-nine. Nah, I don't know. One hundred one, come find me. One hundred one, find him. Uh, Forty-seven or Daphne. Call at your boy. If not, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> I will remember you Will you remember me? Yeah, that was a chaotic experience. There's it was. N- there's not a lot you can say. It's it's weird having to do it at a convention. Yeah. All we talked about was, like, what are you into? What superhero slash anime yeah, are you the, into? I mean, the first question is, like, hey, what type of... What fandoms are you uh, into? Exactly. It's not fun. I feel like I didn't ask him questions. I wanted to ask him questions outside of that. Like, oh, let me get to know you a little bit more. That kind of what felt... Is your per- what is your Myers-Briggs uh, personality? That kind of <laughs> felt like... I kind of felt illegal to ask, like, who are you? Right? I accidentally asked a girl her name, and we weren't Oh, I asked her. Name. I said, yeah, my name is Link. <laughs> you know, he, he's good. He's good. I asked, oh, I told my name is Link, but that didn't work. I forgot, like, I'm number 62. I sat down, and I was like, hi, what's your name? I can't say, I can't ask I that. I can't ask that, yeah. Also, the host, very passive-aggressive. I did not like that. Did not man. like the guy. He was dressed as Star-Lord, which is awesome. But the guy was mean. He was very mean. And then he kept on saying, I love you, but I did not feel loved by him. I felt like I annoyed him. Everyone annoyed it him. It was like, he reminded me of the guy from Billy on the Street. Billy Eichner? Billy Eichner. You're Thank right. You. Very Billy Eichner esque. He was Billy Eichner esque. Because he's like angry? Yeah, he was but angry. But then he's like, I love Happy. you. Yeah. But I'm like, I didn't believe that I love you. But I didn't believe Sounded it. disingenuous. But yeah. And then after that, we wanted to go. Where do we want to go eat? I can't pronounce the restaurant. Gyukaku. Gyukaku, yes. Japanese. What is it? Barbecue. Barbecue. No reservations available. But no reservations available. I mean, it was right there, like a mile away I from the convention center. I will remember you. Exactly. It was right there, an hour, no, a mile away from the convention center, so I'm pretty sure it was yes. packed. Had we not done the speed dating, though, we probably would have made it. If someone... If some panda... Did not drag this us... This is why you're an endangered species. Because you're selfish. All you do is care about yourself. And your speed dating. And your speed dating. But it's okay, though, because we're on the road now. We're all on the road again. Road again, yeah. We're having a good time doing this podcast. And, yeah, Man, that yeah. was our uh, Megacon experience. That was our experience. We definitely, we're definitely going to do Supercon in, in Miami Beach. If you're in the Miami area, come join us when we go do it. The, the bigger the group, the better, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I we're, don't know. If that's we learned true. we're introverts. Maybe not uh Maybe that's not the right thing to do. But yeah. But yeah. Overall, great weekend. The Heat won. Ah! Yeah, they won without Jimmy Butler. Congratulations. Congratulations, Eric's guys. Uh, Eric, we love you. Bam. Incredible Thank win. you for, you know, the stepping up. You did amazing. You did incredible. Struess, you made that three pointer. You're Shut beautiful, beautiful up. man. Tyler, you got to play better, my dude. Come on. It's okay. I know you're young and you're getting used to it, but this is your third year, right? You won sixth man of the year. You can't you can't fold in the playoffs. You've been you haven't been doing that well. I mean, in this series. Oladipo, your defense? Oladipo defense? I appreciate Chef's you. Chef's kiss. You're like a Nigerian chef. Mwah, I love it. And we can't wait for tomorrow's heat game. Game 4, right? Game 4. Oof. No, no, game 3. Game four. Yeah, game four. We're up 2-1. We're up 2-1, yeah. We're up 2-1, baby. See I'm nervous. you in the finals. We're going to be there. We're going to be at the finals. And guess what? We're going to win. And then, you know what happens when we're going to win? We're going to go to the parade. So, if you're at Miami. Yeah, we should do we that. We should go to, you know, we should interview people at the parade. I like that We should idea. set up a booth and just have a, you know. 
Record a sesh? I like that A pod idea. sesh. I like that idea. A potty sesh. If that episode never goes up, it's because it didn't happen. Yeah. But as of right now... It's gonna happen. It's happening. Yeah. We're speaking it into existence. So yeah, that was a good weekend. And that was a segment from... Or slash episode. That was an episode from Link and Danny. Link and Danny and... No, wait, what is it? One, Link, two, three. Link, Link and Danny, Danny do a podcast in the car. You guys going to pay me, right? <laughs> pay you for what?